All right, with rising inflation and interest rate hikes, the whispers of recession are just growing louder and louder, causing widespread anxiety with investments, careers, and the financial future. So it's easy to get caught up in the panic, but it's crucial to understand that recessions are just not just times of economic strife, they're also ripe with the opportunities to create wealth for you and your family. So take a deep look at yourself and are you ready to build wealth in a recession or are you just going to stand by on the sideline? Far too often, the narrative often dwells on the negatives, but history has shown that economic downturns can be transformative periods for people that are savvy individuals in business and investing. Wealth can certainly be built in these times, a sentiment backed by some of the world's most prosperous investors. So according to Forbes, Buffett, the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, earned more than $10 billion in profit from the Great Recession investments by the end of 2013. Michael Burry, hedge fund manager who predicted the 2008 housing crash, made $100 million in personal profits during that time period. The stock market, though prone to fluctuations, consistently demonstrates that each dip is followed by a recovery, often stronger than the preceding fall. As you navigate the complexities of the current economic climate, remember that downturns go hand in hand with potential growth. The key is to play the economic game wisely, understanding that while some areas face challenges, others may flourish or offer new prospects. Check out what Warren Buffett has to say about buying stocks in a recession. So Warren Buffett, the mega billionaire CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, famously wrote in 2008 op-ed for the New York Times, Be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. So this essentially means that when others are fearful of investing their money, like ahead of or during a recession, you should take advantage by scooping up stocks and other assets at discount prices. With strategic planning and composed mindset, it's possible to turn what seems to be daunting economic landscape into a landscape of opportunities. So economic downturns, simply put, are normal part of the business cycle. Leading figures in finance, including property investors and market analysts, have been hinting at the possibility of tough times ahead. This sentiment is widely shared among the public, with many bracing themselves for economic challenges on the horizon. 70% of the population anticipates a recession is on the horizon. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about history of recessions, just so you're not freaking out. Looking back in history, we see that recessions, though intimidating, are nothing new. So in the past, before central banks stepped in, recessions used to happen more frequently, usually every few years after periods of growth. But with better regulation and government intervention, we've seen periods of growth lasting longer, sometimes stretching beyond a decade before a downturn hits again. Now, understanding these patterns helps us prepare for what might be ahead in the economic landscape. It's like knowing the storms come after calm periods. It's a natural part of the cycle. Now, analysts have emphasized the importance of having enough cash and savings to handle any tough financial times that might be coming. Now, while it's tempting to invest heavily when things are going well, it's also crucial to have a stash of easily accessible assets for emergencies. So the first one we're going to talk about here is stashing your cash or reserve cash. So when the economy takes a hit, Having cash on hand is crucial. Instead of risky investments like cryptos, currencies, focus on liquidity. Like savvy investors, cutting back on unnecessary spending, saving cash can help buffer you against inflation. 
Acclaimed investors, again like Warren Buffett, who we've mentioned several times, underscore the importance of cash reserves, advocating that surplus funds act as a financial safeguard during market volatility. Buffett told CNBC's Becky Quick earlier in 2023 that this strategy ahead of a recession is to keep plenty of cash on hand so that people aren't going to keep making intelligent decisions rather than those forced upon them. So what is an emergency fund and how much should you have? So here's a guideline. Your saving goal is three to six months of living expenses. That includes rent, utilities, food, health care. Purpose of this is to buffer against any income disruption, loss of a job, or downturn in your business if you own a business. Okay, number two, we're going to talk about selective investing. Not all businesses suffer equally during a recession. Look for companies with healthy cash reserves that can weather economic storms. In the event of an economic slump, cash-rich businesses similar to Apple and Microsoft maintain operations due to the liquidity they possess. So you want to analyze balance sheets to help give you insight into a company's resilience, making them a better investment during uncertain times. Okay, so the number three thing you can do if a recession hits, embrace opportunities. Downturns can be fertile ground for startups as they innovate in the face of corporate challenges. Think of tech giants born from recessions. A recession can present unique business opportunities, particularly for startups. Historic examples include WhatsApp and Uber, both of which were founded during the economic downturns and they achieved substantial valuations, as you can see today. All right, fourth up, you want to hold your investments. I know it's tempting to sell during downturns, and many people do it, but history shows that patient pays off. The more patient you are, the better. The stock market has a track record of bouncing back, rewarding the long-term investors who ride out the storm. Five, we want to leverage the gig economy. With traditional job markets tightening, freelancing offers flexible income options. Diverse skills remain in demand, providing cost-effective solutions for businesses and individuals alike. So at number six, we're going to talk about job market stability and job reductions. All right, so let's break this down. What's happening in the job scene? Basically, things are about to get a bit rocky. There might be layoffs coming, so you need to be prepared for this if it does happen. So there are some predicted job cuts already out there that you can look at to see what might be coming down the pipeline. A projected average of 175,000 job eliminations per month in the U.S. alone has been going on. Specific examples include Nokia, up to 14,000 positions eliminated. Paramount Global, shutting down Showtime sports division with unspecified job cuts. You also have Rolls Royce cutting 2,500 jobs globally. And then Stack Overflow, they reduce staff by 28%. Make sure you do what is necessary to keep your job or at least have a backup plan if you are laid off. Get a side hustle to make more money. Check out some of the other videos that I have on my channel that can help you make money on the side. Seven, we want you to avoid debt. Rising interest rates during recessions can make managing debt tough. It's crucial to avoid excessive borrowing as servicing debt becomes more expensive. Number eight, my favorite, is real estate investing during recessionary times. When the economy shifts, investing in property can be a smart move. This is what I have done in my real estate investing business. Buy when properties are low. There are some regional differences in housing markets and home values across the country can take a hit. Financial experts are saying there's a chance there might be a 10% drop in home prices nationwide. And if interest rates go up, it could get even worse. With some markets like Florida, Arizona, Idaho, and Southern California possibly dropping by as much as 30% from their peak values. That is opportunity, folks. So nationwide average up to 10% decline. A pessimistic scenario is 10 to 25%. Vulnerable markets can be up to 30% decline. 
in the next two years. That's crazy, right? And that does spell opportunity. Experts are saying this downturn might stick around for two years or more before things balance out again. But for new investors who are thinking about jumping in, these downturns could actually mean some great deals. Many experts are saying that it's a solid place to put your money during tough times because even when things are rough, you're still getting rental income. But you need to know that real estate isn't immune to economic downturns either. So you have to be smart about where you put your money. So an example of this is going to be luxury rentals. Might not be the best bet during a downturn. And high interest rates could make it tough for people to buy homes and then rent them out and make enough money to cover your expenses. But on the flip side, affordable housing should be a more stable option when things get rocky. And get this, investing in real estate doesn't just mean buying properties. You can invest in real estate investment trusts or rates on the stock market. This way you get a piece of the real estate pie without all the headache of being a landlord and fixing toilets. John Paulson's firm made a fortune and he earned over $4 billion personally from the subprime mortgage crisis. Paulson worked with Goldman Sachs to provide liquidity for low-performing home loans. And I made a lot of my money during the 2008 recession. I bought a lot of homes, and that's where I acquired most of my properties. Okay, number nine, defensive sector stocks and funds. So defensive sector stocks hail from industries that tend to remain stable or perform well during economic downturns. For example, healthcare, utilities, consumer staples typically hold up better than other sectors during a recession. Okay, so a solid choice in the healthcare sector among exchange traded funds is the Healthcare Select Sector, SPDR fund, ticker XLV, a defensive stalwart with $36 billion in assets under management and 0.01% expense ratio. So you can check it out, see if it's for you. Okay, coming in at number 10, government bonds and top-rated corporate bonds. Investors seeking stability in a recession often turn to investment-grade bonds. These are debt securities issued by financially strong corporations or government entities. They offer regular interest payments and a smaller risk of default relative to bonds with lower ratings. Their high credit quality means these bonds can play a defensive position within a portfolio. Now, next up at number 11 is gold. Gold has traditionally been considered a safe haven due to its historical track record of holding its value despite short-term fluctuations. Now, investors getting their portfolios organized ahead of a recession often turn to assets with low or no correlation to stocks, bonds, or cash. So you need an asset that will go up while others are down. And gold has consistently proven it does exactly that. You need that one asset that is liquid and will keep you afloat until the rest of your assets recover. Okay, the last and final one, number 12, dividend paying large cap stocks. So dividend paying large cap stock can offer stability during recessions as they often have established histories of profitability and strong balance sheets. Ideally, investors should look for stocks with a long track record of increasing their dividends as that indicates financial strength through thick and thin economic cycles. One such company you can check out is Merck & Company, MRK, has been a proven innovator in the healthcare space over the years with its blockbuster Catruda drug. The company is heavily focused on shareholder return through buybacks, dividends, strategic mergers and acquisitions and partnerships to bolster future revenue and cash flow. So the path to riches is not easy, but you need to pounce on the opportunities when they hit. You also need to decide which combination of these 12 you should do for your investments in time of recession. Hey, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more videos on wealth building and making money let us know your thoughts in the comments section.